With Amelia Young at the airport, new information coming with a crash this morning. What's the latest and what officials are telling you this afternoon, Amelia? Jake, well, the airport is currently closed as officials are continuing their investigation this morning. What we know right now is that the plane came through this runway, crashing and killing the men on, pat on impact sometime before 7 a.m. this morning. Kentucky State Police believe the men do not appear to be from the tri-state. They're working to identify the bodies and alert family immediately. FAA and National Transportation Board officials are on their way to help KSP with the investigation right now, trying to determine what caused the crash. KSP Trooper Corey King says the plane's incoming radio signal would have been sent to Indianapolis as the systems here and in Evansville were shut down at the time. After that, everything gets referred to Indianapolis and people in Indianapolis are checking back on recordings and see if they have anything. Right now, they've not been able to report if there was a flight plan uh, filed or anything like that at this time, point in time. A worker found the crash early this morning. KSP says there are homes around this area, but it is common for people not to realize exactly what they're hearing if there was a loud noise made by the crash. And because of this, uh, KSP and the Henderson County Sheriff's Office are asking if there are any witnesses, if you heard anything, saw anything, to contact them to help them in their investigation. Live in Henderson, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News.